<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for XCOM Anyway Within with me, Good Fetish Bob. And it's Long War, as we can see in this little area here. Um, yes, a new series, it's all I'm going to be doing on the channel. And, uh, you know, maybe the occasional other thing, but I uh, don't expect much else apart from Long War. We're going to try and get three episodes out a week. And we're going to jump in on a normal game. Um, we're not going to go Iron Man because this is a beta game, so lots of opportunities for crashes and stuff, so that's the only reason we'll be playing it like Iron Man, but we uh, won't actually have that ticked. And I think we're going to have a couple of these, uh, don't let no, a new economy, no, strict screening, no, hidden potential, yes, training alert, no, save scrum, no, red fog, yes, this is going to be fun. Uh, as aliens uh, on this uh, long war take uh, damages to their aim and mobility. Uh, so that could be fun. Uh, that will help. Absolute critical, no. Liberators, no. Not so long war, no. Little Striven, no. 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 What's this? Um, no. Oh, and I total loss. No. I get people killed all the time. I can't be having total loss. Uh, no. Aiming angles and... Uh... Hmm. To be fair, I'm not going to do that either. Yeah, just these two. Hidden potential, so, you know, a bit more variation. And red fog. Um, could be interesting. We've got... Um... Both the slingshot and progeny, so we get some better soldiers if we manage to get going and reduced. And we are on normal. Let's start this game. So, a problem with Long War is it's incredibly hard. Uh, so, in order to not fail horribly, I have watched uh, over 100 episodes. France is sending an urgent mission from uh, Enter Elysium. He knows how to play the game. I think he's failed his first playthrough. But uh, I'm watching his second playthrough. And uh, he's going pretty well for him. So uh, I'm going to be doing similar stuff that he did. So I've started my base off in Europe to get that bonus. And uh, yeah, we're going to hopefully do uh, things similar to him as this is my first playthrough of Long War, and it's incredibly easy to lose. Um, that's why I've done it on normal as well. Normal a, in Long War is going to be pretty hard anyway. And I'm just sort of dashing people forward, dashing through the snow. Um, yes. So, a couple of things immediately different. More well, you get two items. You can get everyone to Overwatch at the same time by pressing Alt O. And we've got Steady Weapon, which is a big thing that gives you 20 plus aim if you don't move on the next turn. Sectoids are scarier. Each uh, alien now has um, perks that humans can get. So, uh, one of the starting ones that. Uh, Sectoids gets is low profile, maybe we'll see it here. There we go, right. This guy here, this little critter, he's a pod leader. So he's the strongest of the pod. He's got extra health, and he's got low profile. So um, that counts as high cover, even though it's half. So, and also, Sectoids now can... Um, Mind free and side panic. Okay, I had to move that guy because he was flanked. Probably shouldn't have put him there straight away when there was a chance to get these people. Okay, everyone's moved up. We've got a flanking shot here. It's your only shot, so let's take it. One sectoid down. 35%, we might hunker you. You got three shots. 
24 and 39 on that guy. Let's take that 39. Okay. Early doors, I'm going to be taking some 40% shots. Um, and things. Like that one. Oh, forgot about you. Uh, what can we do with you? Everyone else is in full cover. You're not. Don't think we'll get a shot from back there. Um, if you come forward. No, we'll just hunk you. And the last one shall hunk as well. Okay, two sectoids down. Everyone's in decent enough cover. And one thing we need to know about Long War as well is injury times is crazy high these days. Um, right, I'm going to move up aggressively. Um, because Overwatch is not our friend. Um, you've got an armor piercing grenade which can't reach. Armor piercing grenades um, will only hit things um, that aren't aren't in cover. So, for instance, this blast would hurt this guy, but wouldn't hurt that guy, even though he's in range. For some reason, this guy gets hurt. Or not. Anyway, yeah, that's the basic premise of it. So, we both don't get hurt there, but do get hurt there. Don't fully understand it, maybe it's half cover. But, anyway, you were the long one. I was looking at you with your armor piercing grenade. Yes, see, I can't get this sectoid commander because I can't throw it far enough. What is your shot? On him, 26. Hmm. Well, I'm going to push forward. On my way. And. Move there. Okay. So, 20% shots. Not good enough. What have you? 19s. Um, I'm going to take a 24 for back here because I'm in full cover. Be nice if I get that lucky kill. I'll let you have that shot as well. 31. You're a decent shot. Okay. Now you're in half cover. Am I missing anyone? No. I've just fired two shots. I'll let you take a 20% shot. As well, and an earthware arse can hunker. Um. Okay. Let's see what these guys do. If they shoot, that's good. That means I can come closer and grenade next turn. Okay, um, let's see what happens when we come here. 40 this time. 37. Uh, also, grenades do a random amount of damage. Um, so, the closer to the blast radius of said grenade, the more chance it has of doing the required damage. Okay, with red fog, that alien will have really poor aim. So even though he's flanking this guy, it'll be alright. I think we're going to have to put down our grenade now. This may not do enough damage. Let's hope it does, because otherwise this could be quite awkward. Now, four damage. I could have done three, or I could have done like six, maybe. Uh, so we're going to move up now. Um, and we are gonna maybe have a shot from here. But we'll just come forward a bit more. You can come forward a bit more. You can reload. Now, uh, what's your shot? 31. We'll just reload you. 34. Let's take it. And this guy can reload as well. 
Okay, so you got six troops. I think uh, for normal missions uh, in the future, you can get eight with uh, your officer train school, or whatever that might be called these days. Hmm. Okay, pod leader there. Oh, we released two pods. This isn't particularly healthy for us. So, you can only see one, which is the pod, pod leader. 46% chance to hit him. I'm going to take that. I don't like pod leaders. Let me check if anyone's got any smoke. Any smoke? Smoke? No, flashbang. Oh, you get stuff like flashbang straight away. I'm going to get everyone in position. Uh, that could get flanked. Let's go there. I want everyone in position so they can overwatch when people come up. Okay. And then I'm just going to do a mass overwatch here. Uh, alter. There we go. And um, I think the first thing that comes up this ladder will die. And then anything else might, uh, well, be able to do stuff. Okay, also, mine merging here. If I kill the commander here, he won't, uh, that guy that gets shot, he won't die. This guy's going to die, hopefully. So to explain that better, Killing the guy who mind merging with someone else doesn't kill the mind mind merge. I think that helps out later in the game when we can get the abilities of mind merge. Okay, meld. That's um, done slightly differently in this game. I want to move further forward? I don't think I do. What's your shot on this guy? Thirty-nine. We'll take that. Okay, his aim's going to be useless now, which is nice. Uh, what have you got? 46? Yeah, let's kill him. Um, I think we'll overwatch with the other guys. Oh, you can reload. Uh, you'll have to reload as well. You're gonna overwatch. And I will take another 46% shot. Okay. So, Sector has been going easy on me so far. They uh, have got, apparently, I don't know this, the ins and outs of this, but they've got the Gunslinger perk. And in Long War. Whoa! Um, in Long War, um, it means that the accuracy with pistols is. Um, it goes down the uh, far, uh, further. further where you are. So that should have been a really low shot, but he's got gun gunslinger. Okay, so we lost our first guy in low cover, and I didn't think he was going to get seen. So not completely my fault. I'm going to try and get someone else to kill him, because I want you to kill that sector commander. I'm 56. You can go here, and you get flanked. I think I'll move you forward. Okay, let's move back to this guy. There's not any high cover I could have chosen, uh, so I don't feel like it was my my fault that guy died. Okay, now that guy's aim is going to be useless. I, mean, I feel comfortable coming forward to the spot where my mates died. I'll leave you on Overwatch. Yeah, I'll leave those three on Overwatch because there's still four guys coming. So Red Fog doing me a favour there. You can reload. You can reload. And um, another set of Overwatch. Oh. Okay. Now we take our. Oh, that's only 31. 29. Oh, because he's hungry. Okay, there's going to be overwatches, so this is a bit of a dangerous move. 
naturally I um, move the guy with the least health. Um, yeah, I'm going to take that. And, yeah. I, mean, I really shouldn't be able to get a shot there anyway. You can overwatch. And... It's kind of dangerous. I don't see anyone. I think another overwatch. So I've lost the meld. Um, continue to take my low percentage shots. And... Uh, See, moving across one tile makes a difference. It does. 71, which I'll take. And uh, we'll continue to edge ever closer. So if I don't get a shot on me. And more overwatches. This is a bit of an awkward map. That's weird. That sound was coming from behind us, but uh, I imagine it was that sectoid. You flanked, what are you going to do? He's living a charmed life, this little sectoid. Okay. 61. You've already got a kill today. Let's see if anyone else can get a kill. You've got no ammo. You can't see him. And you can't see him from that position either. You've got no ammo. Okay, well. You can see him. Let's take that shot. Oh well, we lost one guy. Um, yes. The soldiers are more expensive now. The soldiers are 25 snots. As opposed to the old 15 on vanilla. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of an expensive thing. There we go. Hi. Matthew Lewis. Um, yeah, dead. Oh, and here comes the subclasses. So, this guy's got good aim for a rookie. Uh, so, we want to go and make him an infantry. That means he gets a line runs, two shots on. Oh, excuse me. Two shots without moving. Or he can be an assault. Or he can be random. So there are now eight classes instead of four. And then, like, about eight mech classes as well. Um, so, support this is either your grenadier or your medic. Um, right, grenadiers are very. Well, that's the engineer class. They're very handy. Uh, you'll be throwing grenades quite a lot, whereas your aim is pretty high. I'm going to get a medic early on. Because of red fog, having uh, medics about is very handy. Um, and that high aim, uh, when the guy's going to be throwing grenades quite a lot, is a bit different. Also, gunners, um, suppression or rocketeer. Rocketeers are hard to use in. This is beta 14i. So uh, we're going to use um, Gunners, because uh, Rocketeers are not that good on this class. Uh, in fact, I'm very rarely going to choose a, a Rocketeer. I am going to random a lot of the time, because, yeah, I don't like Rocketeers. I don't like the whole sort of steadying weapon to make them useful. Uh, so we've got Meld. Uh, we've got one Meld, or we're just able to recover it and research it now. I don't know. Anyway, speaking of research, hello, we don't want to listen to you. Um, materials, haven't got enough alloys or illyrium. Weaponry, or xenobiology. Let's go for weaponry. We can start building scopes. Scopes are good. Engineering, this can see whether we reload the game. Um, yes, facilities. Ooh, steam. That's not where we wanted it. I might reload. We'll keep this episode as it is, but I might reload so we've got steam in better places. Because uh, it's kind of like where I want my bank of satellites to be. 
and I have to go all the way down to the bottom for that. Um, so yeah, mm, we can get there pretty quickly. I'll have a little thing, see whether I, I reload. I won't show you the first mission again, because all the soldiers are going to get renamed. And also, I'm a bit salty about uh, that soldier getting killed. Um, There's a bit of a harsh crit, but that is long walkway. Um, anyway, situation room, go, go straight into the... Yes, Bradbury. Yes, um, as you can see, uh, these bars are half filled and whatnot. And that's because I think they're out of 100 now, uh, as opposed to out of uh, 5. Um, so that's... Um, all right, woman. Right. I just wanted to shut her up. Uh, yes. So, only one satellite now. Um, I'm going to tell you my general idea for the, the game, uh, and then we'll move on. I'm going to do exactly what Enter Elysium did, um, and that is I'm going to abandon Europe and build my base in the US and, well, yeah, North America. Um, so then I keep my thingy for um, expert knowledge bonus. Um, I'll just let that be taken away. Um, and uh, I can build another satellite up link and get there, and eventually I'll get maybe Africa um, and stuff. That's the general idea of satellites. They're not as important as they were in the vanilla game. Um, like to get um, Panic Town. Um, but yeah, should be interesting. Anyway, I've rambled a little bit on the end there. Um, I'm going to save this. And I'm going to restart another mission, and if I get another rubbish sort of base loadout, then I'll stay here. Um, but if I get a better base lo um, loadout, then we'll continue with that game. And I imagine that uh, everything will be virtually the same. So wait, until the next episode... Um, oh, and speaking of which, the next episode... Um, I'm putting all my subscribers in as soldiers, because uh, in the barracks here we start with uh, 40 soldiers, obviously one's died on us. Uh, ooh, that's actually quite a lot of uh, high aim guys there for, for rookies. Actually, I'm going to just stick with this game. Look at that. 72s and 71s and stuff. I think the base aim is 65, so uh, not that many that are below that threshold. So I'm going to keep this game. It seems to start off with some decent soldiers. Um... But yeah, um, all my subscribers are going to be a soldier at some point, um, whether you want to be or not. Uh, and also, I'm going to record about 12... I'm not going to upload a video until at least 12 episodes are recorded. So if you think I should do this, that, or the other, it's probably going to take place from episode 13 onwards. Uh, because I want to make sure that I've always got episodes ready to go, so um, we'll release episodes uh, three times a week, hopefully. Um, yeah, that's generally the idea. There's fatigue uh, after you've done a mission. You guys are fatigued, so uh, if they, you can take them on the next mission, but uh, then they'll get injured. Um, so it means you need to keep on rotating all your troops and stuff. So anyway, that's me. That's the episode for today roughly 25 minutes long or 23 minutes long or something like that hope you've enjoyed there will be more and uh, yeah if you got any suggestions i will take them on board from episode 13 onwards um but yeah until the next episode i've been go fetish bob goodbye